Hi friends, Michael here in central Israel. I can't believe it's already been one week since Hamas launched a massacre of an attack against Israel, costing 1,300 lives. We all woke up earlier this week feeling like we woke up from a nightmare, couldn't even really believe the horror of what we had witnessed. But slowly and surely, the body of believers has rallied together and mobilized to say, we want to be the hands and feet of Yeshua. And thanks to your generosity, and thanks to this emergency crisis fund, we've been able to help evacuate and relocate hundreds of families all over the country, provide for their needs, bring them valuable equipment and supplies, mattresses, generators, battery packs, help to feed them, help to give them water, and really even to bless their children. People that are, have gotten so traumatized seeing dead bodies in the street, you've been able to show the love of Yeshua in a really practical way and tangible way. And even right now, I'm standing at this new uh, crisis command center in the center of Israel. We're starting to feed hot restaurant quality meals to families all over the country. We're doing 500 Shabbat dinners tonight that will go down to Ashkelon to families that have been living in a bomb shelter for a full week. We're hoping to ramp that up to several thousand meals a week next week, and we couldn't do it without you. And so thank you for praying. We feel your prayers. They're refreshing us, even though we feel exhausted. Thank you for your support. Thank you for giving. And we're going to pray that we can continue to see God move. While it looks like on paper, this is going to last a lot longer than we could have expected. For us, you're saving us because we don't know how, how many, you know, how many days, how many weeks we're going to be in this situation. Now we have a little more uh, basic things that we can survive with. It's very important. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, stay safe. Guys. Yeah, stay safe. We're hopeful that we're going to use this as an opportunity to shine God's light in the midst of a dark situation.